Hey everybody, welcome back to JS Urban Adventures. Thanks for stopping by again. Sorry I got some Fritos in my teeth. I'm uh, over here working on the van, changing a serpentine belt. So I'll just show you guys real quick. Actually, I'm kind of recording for my own personal record so that I can remember the configuration of the belt. But it's pretty much the same process as changing that pulley in my other video. I'm just gonna pull the, the tensioner over, get the belt off, memorize the way that it goes and then I'm gonna put it back on so check it out guys hope you enjoy now before I get started I'm gonna give you guys a little preview of the next video after this one if you see the windows of the van look a little different not all of them yet I'm saving some of them so I can do them for the video so I can show you guys what I'm doing how I'm doing it but I'm done a lot of them and uh, they're not perfect they're still some things I need to work on like the corners but I'm going to show you guys how to insulate and cover your windows you know you could just use some cloth for privacy but this this will also insulate them and I'll tell you all about this stuff and I'll tell you where you can get it and the price and everything I'll give you guys a Amazon affiliate link but we'll make a video about that this weekend today uh, is technically a work day but I don't really have any work to do right now something else is going on and uh, so I'm just hanging out working on my van, doing those windows. I got some other cool stuff, some kitchen stuff. I'll show you all in the next video, but for now, let's just work on this serpentine belt. All right, so just like the belt shit, oh, I just dropped my cigarette down into my bumper. Just like the, the pulley, we're just gonna pull that guy over this way, get that belt off, and we're gonna go over this one, under this one, over this one, I think this is the air conditioner. I'm gonna have to double check. But if it is, there's a wire coming out of here that's broken. My air conditioner's only been blowing hot air, so I was thinking I needed more Freon, but I just discovered this. And if this, if I'm correct, and this is the air conditioner, then that may be why I'm only getting hot air because this thing is not connected. There's a blue and a black wire here. There's a blue and a black wire here. I don't want to just do a quick fix and just, you know, tie this together and tape it. Um, and I actually can't connect the the black wire to here because I have to replace this thing. So I think I might just look into this whole piece right here and this wire that connects down there and just replace the whole thing so it'll be done right. But whoever did this ghetto rigged it. Whoa. But anyway, here's my serpentine belt for a... Dodge Ram 3500, the big boy engine, multi V belt for the air conditioner model, even though my air conditioner doesn't work. And so, uh, anyway, my configuration is pretty much the same as that big truck I worked on. It goes, I'll throw you guys a little clip of uh, another truck that I worked on in this video once I get done looking at this configuration. The engine's hot, be careful where you touch. This is okay, radiator's kind of hot. Some of that stuff in there might be hot, so I will put on gloves, but I'm going to go over, under, over, then you go over here, it goes around this one, then it comes up, you can see there where my belt is screwed up, and it goes over this, which is your water pump, this one is your water pump and your fan, and uh, yeah, because when I changed the water pump on the truck, I had to take that off, but... And then down and around the outside of the bottom one, and around the outside of this one. So, it looks like you would have to take the fan off, but you actually don't. Um, and I'll, sh I'll try to show you that. Basically, I'm not going to be able to show you because I don't have a tripod set up to record this, and it's really hard to get a good angle. But, you're going to put your belt in there. And then put it around this one and take it under that bottom one. You don't have to take the fan off. So you can do all this without taking the fan off. So let me uh, get to work on it. And I'll talk to you guys again when it's done or almost done. So I got the old belt off. Now I'm going to feed this one down into there. And just leave it kind of. Get it in there all the way to the bottom leave it kind of hanging over this one because we're going over that so I just remembered over under over um, 
I guess it would be kind of over that one. It goes around the outside of it and then over that big one down there and then under that one and then over this one. So, but I got that one off. I got the old one off without having to take the fan off, of course. So what we wanna do is have it go around the outside of that one down there. I can't really do this with one hand, guys. So I'm just gonna give you an idea. So we're gonna be going around that one and then it's gonna come back around this one. see how this one doesn't this pulley doesn't have any grooves on it it's because the back side of the belt pulls that one the other ones that have grooves the inside of the belt with the with the ridges goes into the grooves see that all right let me let me get this thing on some more and then I'll, I'll show you guys a little more progress in a second on a side note I was gonna I took a trip out to the West Valley skate park last week I was gonna make a little video about it with my longboard I was gonna try out the pump course with the longboard and uh, show you guys the park and the pump course but the pump course is really small uh it's like made out of plastic it's kind of weird but the skate park looks so sick i was like i gotta get a skateboard so kind of treated myself to a board nice element board it's uh it's just a it, it's, it was a pre-made complete so it's got element trucks element wheels crappy bearings but um it's a good deck the grip tape sucks too but uh, I can get all that stuff changed out little by little. For now, I can just ride this. So pretty soon I'll have a video of showing you guys some cool spots I found. A couple skate parks, a couple cool skate spots and hangout spots. I'll show you those. But for now, I'm going to be using this board for another purpose. Dual purpose skateboards. Good reason to have a skateboard when you have a car to work on. Tighten these trucks up. They're loose. Ugh. Great reason for a skateboard. All right. Now we're under the van on a skateboard. So here's that bottom bottom one. I want to get my belt over this and centered on those grooves. I say over, but this is under. And I want to kind of feed. I should have hung it over a few things up there first, but I really just want to make sure that it's on this. I didn't actually have to get under here to do this. Just wanted to show you guys. All right, I can't do this one handed, so I'm going to get out and finish this up. So check it out. Now I've got all the underneath stuff lined up i've got this going under the lowest one the big boy there's the water uh the water pump the back of the belt is going around that and then that is the belt tensioner pulley i have it laid over the top of that for now but that's going to be the last one you do you leave that one undone because that's the one you can pull over at the end and then this one over here i have it going around there very loose right now because I don't have any of the top ones done yet but now that I've got the bottom stuff done I can go in from the top and get it all finished all right so I think I got it all on here correctly and uh, I'll show you so we go over this one we go under this one the back of the belt because that's smooth the back of the belt is on there so that's also a way to signify if you don't have a diagram if you see it smooth, you need the back of the belt to go around it. So there's two of the smooth ones, the rest all have the grooves. We go over the air conditioner. We go around and under the outside of that one. Then we come up and we go with the back side of the belt so you can see those grooves around the water pump. And then we go back all the way around almost the entire bottom pulley the bottom one is the biggest the belt it almost goes around that whole thing there's just a little opening right there 
and then all that's left see how it's kind of tight but it's not totally tight if we try to pull it over this pulley we can't get it this belt is very strong it's not like some rubber band you can't just pull it see how we can't get it over that pulley so now we're going to use our ratchet 15 millimeter ratchet put that bad boy on there like that and you pull this over and once I have both hands I will flip that belt over that and then we're done ladies and gentlemen we put a new uh, serpentine belt on the dragon wagon or the murder mobile what do you guys like better the murder mobile or the dragon wagon if you know me you know I like Dragon Ball and I got Dragon Ball cards and I, I go to card tournaments and stuff so that's why I call it the Dragon Wagon. One day I'm gonna travel around and go to big tournaments if they ever open up again. Well, here's the old belt. I'll show you. You can see the edges are all torn up. This is really torn up. And you can see the, uh, the wiring inside of it. All through here, it's all jagged and you can see some of the wire. So yeah, it was just time to go. And I got the new one on, I'll show you guys. And here we go. It goes around here, around there. Everything's lined up. We got all our grooves on the lines. Down under this one, around here, around there. It's all tight, it's all lined up right, and it's all good. Just call my name. It sounded like somebody just called my name. That big truck over there I worked on. I didn't do the majority of the work, but I did do some of the work. And it still needs work. serpentine on the van I got a bunch of video ideas coming I got you know we'll check out a skate park I'll show you guys how to do these windows uh, I gotta get these benches out of here so I can make a bed platform because I got an air mattress so I need to build up a platform to put the air mattress on so that I don't just have to have the air mattress sitting in the middle of the van because of the wheel wells so I'm gonna build a box up above the one of the sides wheel wells and I've already measured it out the air mattress will fit perfectly back there but that's it guys, that's uh that's it for this video. Change the serpentine belt, just another new little, you know, little fix that I had to make that I learned how to make. And once I figure out what's up with those wires, maybe I'll make a video about that too. Hopefully that's my air conditioning. Uh, I was gonna change the Freon, but you gotta get, you, you don't just get a Freon recharge kit, you gotta buy tester. The tester has UV dye in it, so you gotta have these goggles and this uh, UV light, and you gotta have the gauges, so everything all together. Just for the testing it, it's $25, $50, $75 just for the testing supplies that you need. And then once you're done testing it and you get the free on, that's another $50. So if the problem is just those wires, that would be awesome because that would be a lot cheaper. So anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't. Hit the bell and also check out in some of my review videos and some of these parts videos and stuff like this look in the uh description for the amazon affiliate link i am an amazon affiliate i have been that for a couple months but i don't know they might have shut it off because i don't think i had any business on it because i haven't talked about it i haven't said anything about it but if you go to my old review videos in the description there are amazon links and those are amazon affiliate links so you guys don't have to spend any more money but I make a little, you know, a little percentage for sending them the traffic. So check that out, guys. I'll try to get Amazon affiliate links for the serpentine belt, for the, the foil stuff that I have on the windows, all that stuff. And even if you guys aren't shopping for those items, if you use my link to go to Amazon, uh, whatever you buy, once you're directed there, 
I get a portion of it, even if it has nothing to do with with what I'm selling, with what I'm sending you there for. So check it out, guys. If you want to help help me out, you're ever doing any shopping on Amazon, then just go click one of those links, go to Amazon that way, and then buy whatever you want to buy anyway, and it'll help me out. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, Serving Adventures out. Peace. Whoa, that's crazy. That fan is spinning super fast. But on my phone in the video, it looks like it's not even moving hardly. That thing is spinning really fast. I helped work on this engine. This truck right here flipped. And we had to, well, not we, because it was before I started, but I helped with some of it. We had to rebuild this whole, all this is new. Put in, put in here at the yard. Had to put in a new chassis for the dump. Because this truck was flipped and it was not working. All that had to be rebuilt. A couple things on the engine had to be rebuilt.